All right. right. We have uh, Miss Chelsea Shields here, and she is going to uh, show us some tips and tricks here about motivating uh, and encouraging and recognizing growth of our students um, through digital rewards and some uh, great ideas that she has there. So, Miss Shields, I'll let you take it away from here and show us what you have and the ideas that you have for providing digital rewards for remote learning for our students. Okay, awesome. Thank you. So, um, first of all, I just want to tell you, I did not come up with like these 100% on my own. Um, I'm in a teacher group on Instagram, and we bounce ideas off each other and stuff all the time. And we were talking about how we are struggling with some kids to get them to complete the work. Um, because we can't really award dojo points anymore. I mean, you could, but it's not going to be as... Um, as effective as it was when you saw them every day in the classroom and they could cash those in for things. So we um, were talking about digital rewards that we could do. And I was really impressed with the free aspect of it because as teachers were all the time looking for free things to do. Um, so through that group and some of the ideas we bounced around, I just made um, a PowerPoint and um, I made little um, slides that are certificates, reward certificates. So these are perfect for NTI days, Google Classroom, Class Dojo. You don't have to just send them on Google Classroom. If you're like, I know the younger grades don't have um, emails to log in. So you can send these on Dojo too. So um, I'll just run through them real quick. There is one that's not free um, that another teacher had mentioned and I thought it was a good idea, but don't feel like you have to spend money to do these. Um, so here's one, it's just skip an assignment. They all pretty much look the same. The thing just, um, the middle reward is different. And um, at the bottom it tells like they have to email you this certificate back and respond with like the name of the assignment they want to skip. This so one is- I'm, I'm gonna jump in and ask a quick question. Okay, on the, sorry. You know, on the rewards, whenever you give them to the students, do they get to choose what they get and the certificate that they email back to you, uh, what they want or is it, how does that work and how do you, how do you first offer it to them? What are the guidelines? for them okay. getting one of these and then ultimately how do the, how do you give it back to them or is there something there in place that you have or is it just um, well okay i choose who gets who gets what reward they don't they um i have just told them that there are rewards to get i haven't told them like all the different ones because i kind of want them to be a surprise and i really want i wanted the kids to like talk to each other and be like oh, i got this reward this is so cool you know to try to get them to want to work to get that one too. So like nobody yet in my room has got the skip an assignment award because um, I'm wanting them to do everything that they're required to do this time. But I am gonna give several of those out next time just because I figure it'll be the last eight days, why not? Um, but so the way that works, um, I just email them the certificate and I type in there like, hey, you've been doing a really good job on your NTI days. I'm really proud of this, this, and this you've done. Um, or maybe it was just a certain assignment that I was really blown away with that I could tell they went the extra mile. And that's how they get that reward. And then whenever they want it, um, because that's part of the responsibility piece there too, getting them not just to do their work, but then to respond to you too with the reward, they have to email me back and tell me, hey, I'm ready for my reward. I want to use it right now. And then I just immediately send it to them, the reward. Does that okay. kind of answer your questions? Yeah, that sounds great. That makes sense. Okay. I hope so. I don't know. So this digital sticker one, the way it would work is first they would get the screen you're seeing now, the little um, certificate. And then I have made digital stickers that you all can use, like, because I thought this would just take a lot. I know we all already have tons of stuff we were doing. So this would just save some time. So here are like three little di digital sticker sheets you can send. And I tried to make them like good, um, good for all grade levels and ages. Um, and then they just can drag and drop them to wherever they want them, or they can copy and paste them into Word documents or into PowerPoint, whatever they want. They can make their own little notebook cover or whatever they want to do. Um, a $5 gift card one. This one is just, um, you could do it for a McDonald's, you know, just they could kind of choose where they want to get their $5 gift card to. Because um, I know right now there aren't any restaurants open, so a lot of people are doing drive through um, a letter in the mail, that would just be the parent writing, or not the parent, 
you, the teacher, writing them a letter and mailing it to them. They all love to get mail. Here is the digital pet one. And this, there are two that um, so far my kids have loved. And um, this digital pet one is one of them. So it's basically like a Giga Pet. Um, you know, back in the day, the little Tamagotchis. Um, <laughs> so this one, they get to build a monster. And there's like a parts bank. And they just drag and drop to build their monster. They can type their name in here. Um, these are the ones they've enjoyed the most, though, are the animal ones. So this is like the little digital mouse. Um, because they all love Tulane. I have a guinea pet, a guinea pig that's a pet. Um, and so they can feed them, they can dress them, they can drag the little, you know, make them a little bed, put them a little wheel, whatever they want to do. Um, they have options to feed them, all that different stuff. So there's the mouse, you have a goldfish, you have a dog and a cat. Um, a dance party. So these um, were recommended by a, a teacher in the group. And so she does Zooms. I know we're not allowed to do Zooms, but you could do this with your Google Meet. So the child that gets this, when um, they redeem it, like that week on your Google Meet, like if you're meeting on Thursday, they would get to pick the music that you could play off your phone or on your screen and everybody could have a little dance party during the Google Meet. Like they could just dance. Um, there's a Kahoot one like that too, and something else, um, a, um, well, I'll have to see here because I can't remember. This one I loved. It is a digital e-card is the reward. So you just go, and I linked it the next slide here. You just go here to American Greetings, the card company. Now, not all of their cards are free, just certain ones, um, but you can send them free digital cards, and they're so cute. Like, lots of them sing, and they're interactive. You just have to make sure it's a free one, and all you need is their email address and it's it's really neat. That's just a different background for the skip and assignment one. Um, I talked to Dr. Bailey and he said he was willing um, that he would personally call a child or he could do a video too, or he would do both. A video like congratulating them and talking about the good work they do. Um, a message from Lucy, that's my dog. So you would have to, but I did make editable ones too. So you could, if you wanna do it a message from your pet too, you can. Um, a message from a former teacher. So I might send that to them and they might say, hey, I would really love to hear from my first grade teacher, uh, Miss Norris. And so then I would ask Miss Norris if she would care to videotape them a message or email me a message. And then I would post it and send it to that child on Dojo or through email. Um, a Kahoot game of choice. This is what I'm talking about. On Zoom, you can actually play Kahoot games as a class. I'm sure there's an extension out there for Chrome to do this. Do you know if there is, Dr. Bailey? Yeah, you know, I have not seen that at all. And I was researching okay. for it, so I couldn't find one. Um, if anybody does see one, just share it with us. But I don't think there's a specific extension for Kahoot in Google Meet. Okay. But that's the only downside to have, you know, I mean, I love Google Meet. But in Zoom, you really can do a lot. Because in Zoom now, you can even do breakout rooms. But anyways, that's, mm -hmm. can't do it. So I'll move on. A badge change on Dojo. My kids really loved this um, while we were in school. And this would be something you can still do. It's just where you change their little character monster to something that they want. They would get to choose. A video of Tulane, that's our class pet. Again, I have that one as edible, so you could change it to something else or to your class pet. Show and tell. This is the other one that my kids have freaked out about and loved. So with this show and tell one, um, basically, as long as it's school appropriate and they make a video under 10 minutes, because that's what they'll do. They'll pick an item that they want to show and tell. It can be anything that they have. It can be live or it could be, you know, something inanimate. Um, and they just will present it, show it to us, to the class, tell us about it as long as it's school appropriate and under 10 minutes. And then I just, after they send me the video, I post it on Dojo so all the kids can see it. I wish I'd had one done already, but I have two kids working on their show and tell video. So, cause I wish y'all could see them. And then the next few here are just edible slides. Um, that you can use. Now, they won't necessarily have the same font as me. If you're wanting the same font, I can email it to you. Um, but And you just like click here and type in. Everything else on this one is fixed. This is the only box you can click in. Um, this one the same way. But then some more of them as I go down through here, they are completely editable. Like if you want to come up with your own title for the reward, your own rewards, your own directions. And all you have to do, I wrote a little note on how you add a background in. Um, one more thing before I let you go. I'll show you how I share them with my kids through Google Classroom. 
So all I do is I select the, the slide I want to use. So maybe it's the skip an assignment one. So I would click it. I go to file and I do make a copy and I just do selected slides. And when I do that, it will pop up and you can rename this. So like if I was going to give this one to, I don't know, we'll just say Lucy Shields. We'll give my dog one. And then I just type in here what it is. Skip an assignment. Just so I remember whoops, what, what award I gave them. And I can't spell. And, and then I just, I can pick where I want it to save and then I just hit OK. And hopefully it will present this screen now too. Can you see this new one? No, I think you're just showing the showing oh, no. still in the window. That's fine. Once they go oh, okay. to it and they find it in their drive, they can share it that way. Yeah. And then all I do is so once they have their own copy, I just hit share up here and I always share it with their parents and with their email just so you know the parents know what i do anytime i email them personally i'm just kind of a weirdo i always email their parents Good with practice. that in, just so they can see like i'm not saying anything sure. creepy <laughs> sure. just, no, that's perfect. yeah and that's it that's awesome that's okay. good stuff there you know with um with that entire, you know, the slideshow there, most of those are editable. I wanted to go back to a couple of those because I had a couple of questions on on how the okay. kids found it, you know, showed their stuff off, you know, with the uh, the, the okay. digital pet. I love the idea of drag and drop and create your own pet. Is okay. there a way that, like a then what kind of thing? Is there a way that they get to show that off to their class, the final version? Oh, yes, I forgot. <laughs> yes. Like if they want to um, showcase something their pet did that day, they can just um, screenshot it with their computer or they can take like one of their parents or if they need me to do it, because I still have access to everything they do on these where I shared it like that. Um, I, I can just get on there and snip a picture of it and post it on Dojo. But here's the thing, too, that I didn't mention with the digital pet so there's five digital pets and all they only get one digital pet at a time and in that email when they finally get their i tell them now keep working hard because you have a chance to earn the other four digital pets that we have available Absolutely. you know so i don't send them all the pets at once i love it i love okay. it great idea there and there are um what is that like one of the goldfish there what were the options where you click through those yeah yeah, so there was the little mouse, um, a goldfish, and I, I you know, they have all yeah, their I love it. little SpongeBob little house, you know, just, uh, let's see. Um, then I had a dog uh, and a cat, and then the monster one, they just build their little monster. And I, yeah. I'm just now realizing I forgot to put, like, the food and stuff for that, so I need to copy that over here on this one. But, yeah, they would just drag, you know. And they can build multiple monsters with this one because I wanted them to be able to have whatever colors, you know. That's great. That's great. But, yeah, but just those those digital rewards and, and recognition go a long way. And this is just a good way to do it during remote learning in DI days. Um, pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. And uh, this will be, you know, we'll provide the link to this too, this entire site, right? Um, yes, I was just going to, yeah. I would just share it with everybody, and as long I, there's a way I can force them to make a copy, right? Yes, that's what we we'll okay. do. Okay, yeah, because we'll, we'll I don't want them to edit the Absolutely, original. yeah. yeah <laughs> that yeah. would be bad. And uh, basically, in order to do that, you'll just on the file name, you do a forward slash copy at the end of that, and that'll be that forces them to make a copy. Awesome. So forward slash copy. Yeah, just at the end of the of the link there. Learn Pretty something new every day. Thank you, Ms. Shields. I appreciate it. And uh, awesome. the digital Thank rewards you. that are there. It's a great idea. I think we embrace that. So right. I appreciate it. I'm going to shut down the recording. Okay.